हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज मे शाइसा खानम फ्रॉम विद्यावर्धनी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द सीमॉस फैब्रिकेशन प्रोसेस सीमॉस इज अ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री मॉस्फेट इन विच वी आर यूजिंग एनमॉस एज वेल एज पीमॉस इफ यू हैव सीन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस इन दैट आई हैव स्टार्टेड विद फर्स्ट विद द आईसी फैब्रिकेशन एंड देन वी हैव सीन द फैब्रिकेशन ऑफ एनमॉस एंड पीमॉस सेपरेटली now as in order to form a cmos circuit uh, that is uh, in order to save the area we are going to form this cmos uh, instead of having the nmos and pmos separately uh, we can have a single wafer on which we can fabricate the complementary mosfet so that is what will that will reduce the area area requirement so uh we'll see there are different methods which can be used for making for the cmos fabrication that is nothing but um p well process n well process twin top process so these are the processes which we are going to see with the help of these processes the cmos can be formed now first is the p well process now in the p well process now if you remember how we are going to form a mos uh, cmos inverter so in a cmos inverter we have one pmos then we have one nmos so this is nothing but what my pmos this is uh, vdd this is the in input and this is nothing but what my output now over here you can see this is my nmos this is my pmos uh, sorry this is pmos and this is nmos and this is nothing but a gate terminal this is nothing but a drain terminal and uh, sorry this is nothing but a source terminal this is a drain terminal for this this is gate this is source and this is drain so we are forming in in a process of this cmos fabrication we are going to do this connections also like the gate of the both the mosfet can be connected internally only the drain of the most or mosfet can be connected internally only so this can be done now here if i want to form this cmos on one substrate so here first of all in a p well process what we are doing we are taking the n substrate and on which we are forming the p well now why we are forming a p well so if you remember like in 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 a formation in for and forming a nmos nmos we need a p substrate so i can say in order to have nmos i need p substrate whereas in order to form a pmos i need n substrate so for that like here if i'm taking a common substrate as n so i can form pmos over here but in order to form a n mos i need p substrate so how we are getting this p substrate we are going to form this n well so here is nothing but what in this well in this well your n mos will be fabricated how we are forming this well this is simple we are taking the first of all i'm taking a n substrate then depositing sio2 layer then with the help of the photolithography i'm making the window over here and then i'm diffusing the p d p p type material and hence the p well will be formed now in a next step what we are doing we are we have patented patented the uh, polysilicon material so which is nothing but what forming the gate so this is nothing but what a gate of a <coughs> this is nothing but what a gate of a nmos and this is nothing but a gate of a pmos so with the simultaneously uh, with in a one one single mask only uh, this both the polysilicon can be formed now next is nothing but what ne with the help of next mask what we are doing here this is see this is n n and this is n substrate and this is p well right so here now i am going for n diffusion so this is sorry i'm very sorry this is nothing but what a p diffusion so this is p diffusion p diffusion and here also somewhere i'm doing this p this is nothing but what for channel stop implant that is used for isolation 
so here with the help of this diffusion here the drain and the source region of this uh, for PMOS has been formed now here what is left now this drain and source of the end channel is remaining so in our next next step what we are doing we are going to form going to diffuse the end type material so here is nothing but what end diffusions are formed so in this way like here the n mass and here a p mass is created now what is the next step in our next step next step we are going to do a connection in order to do the connection what we are going to do see this is nothing but what this is this terminal is nothing but drain this is drain of NMOS, this is drain of PMOS, this is nothing but a source terminal of PMOS which is connected to VDD. This is source terminal of NMOS which is connected to ground and the uh, gate of both the, both the gates are shorted and which is nothing but what forming a channel, forming an input V in. So this is nothing but what, how we are going to form a CMOS using the P-well structure. Now in a P-well structure, there are two points one is nothing but what balanced performance of p and n channel and easier to produce p well in a unsub n substrate rather than n well in a p substrate so this is nothing but uh, how uh, the process will be simpler if i am going for this method because the well formation is simple now what is the meaning of balanced performance of p and n channel if you remember NMOS is faster than PMOS. Here, NMOS is faster than PMOS. If you see, here your main substrate is N. Whereas you are forming, you are forming this P well with the help of diffusion. So as you are forming P well with the help of diffusion, so if you see the, uh, like, see, the main material is nothing but an N substrate which is, which you are using. Whereas P well you are forming with the help of diffusion material. So, and in this P well, when I am forming an N MOS, <coughs> in this P well, when I am forming an N MOS, now what will happen? If you are forming any device in a well, the performance of that will be bit slower as compared to the uh, as compared to the transistor which is formed into the main substrate now if i'll see over here any transistor which is forming in a main substrate which is n will perform better as compared to what formed in this well similarly when i'll go for n well so vice versa so the transistor which will be formed in n well the performance will uh, the performance of that transistor will be somewhat less uh, uh, somewhat less as compared to the transistor which is formed in a main substrate so here that is a main difference that in a p-well the transistor which is formed with having a less performance as compared to the transistor which is formed in the main substrate but here if you see in n substrate what we are forming we are forming a p-mos which is forming a p-mos whereas in P well we are forming a N MOS and we know that the N MOS is faster than P MOS. So yeah, the P MOS which is formed in a main substrate is having a good performance, but we know that P MOS is a bit slower as compared to N MOS. So N MOS when it is formed in a well will be its performance will be degraded, but we know that it is much faster than P MOS. Hence the uh, parameters of hence the performance of both the PMOS and NMOS can be balanced. PMOS is slower, but NMOS we are form NMOS is faster. But as we are forming NMOS in a P well, so it will become bit slow. So the both the performance of NMOS and PMOS will be balanced. So that is nothing but what a meaning of this balanced performance. Now the next is nothing but a very important point is latcher problem. Now, what is latcher problem? Latcher problem is nothing but in, in this is nothing but some parasitic transistors are formed in a CMOS. Uh, that is nothing but what due to the fabrication. Like we are not forming these transistor, but but these are the parasitic transistors which are formed. Is nothing but what <coughs> this this P this N 
and this P substrate is forming this transistor, then this well, this substrate and this end region is forming another transistor. And if you see, and this is R sub and R well is nothing but a resistance of this well and the substrate. Now, if you see the circuit over here, this is nothing but what an equivalent circuit of a silicon controlled re rectifier that is SCR. Now, here what is happening? Anyhow, if one of the transistor is becoming on, so if any of the like if there is a voltage between this P and N, right? If it is forward bias or if this transistor is becoming on, then what will happen? This is nothing but what actually providing a positive feedback. Suppose over here, if this transistor is on, what will happen? The current will flow over here. If the current will flow over here, what will happen? This current will be demand from this, right? So if there is a good current flowing over here, so this transistor will also become on. If this transistor is becoming on, then what will happen? The current is going to increase over here. If this current will increase, this collector current is going to increase. So this is nothing but what a cycle. So if we will not stop and this will continue, then this current will lead to a very high value and that can destroy the whole, whole <coughs> SEMA circuit. So that means this is nothing but what so once the SCR will start working, it will destroy your whole SEMA circuit. So this is nothing but what called as latch-up problem. And in order to avoid the latch-up problem, the main solution is over here, you can see if this base current is flowing, the I, IC current is flowing over here. This IC current is high. Depending upon that, the current is flowing in, a, in this P, uh, PNP transistor also. So what is happening? If I am keeping beta of both the transistors low, that is nothing but what a current gain, then we can keep the current levels less. That is one benefit. One provision we can do in order to avoid the latch-up problem. Another thing is nothing but if I see here, if this drop will be more definitely the base, if this resistance will will be there and it is going to drop the voltage, it is going to uh, depending upon that only the transistor is becoming on and off. So what we can do, we can keep this resistance as small as possible so that there will not be any possibility of the transistor to turn on. So, uh, in so our aim is to keep this R well and R sub resistance to be less. So that is nothing but what we are coming to the well 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 N well resistance to be low and P substrate resistance to be low. In order for that purpose, we are going for epitaxial layer. So this epi epi layer is nothing but. A low resistance layer is formed in order to lower the resistance of the well and the substrate. And if we are using this epi layer, then it will reduce the chances of latch-up. Now next is nothing but an N-well process. Now in this N-well process, you can see, uh, the, it is a, uh, exactly reverse. We are taking a P substrate and this is nothing but an N-well. So in the P substrate, we are going to form an N-MOS. And whereas in N well, we are going to form a PMOS. <coughs> now, next are uh, we are going to pattern a gate so that uh, we are uh, we can form a uh, using a mask. The gate has been formed, and after that, the diffusion. So this is nothing but. Uh, this is a P diffusion, so this is nothing but an N well. So this is we are forming drain and source. So this is P diffusion and this is P plus channel stop implant that is used for isolation of the transistor. Next is nothing but in the uh, next what we are doing, we are going so this is nothing but here we have done the P diffusion and this is nothing but water N diffusion. So with the help of this, so this N drain and source has been formed and now we in a next step with the help of metallization we can connect the uh, we can connect the circuit now what is the main benefit main uh, problem in this n well process is nothing but here in this p substrate we are forming p in this p substrate we are forming n mos in this p substrate we are forming n mos and this is nothing but what 